I, I see y'all. I see y'all. Yeah, I see y'all. YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy. It's your boy. Run over boss. And I'm back, Jack. And I'm looking like a cop because I cut my beard off. Man, but I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about 50 Cent. 50 Cent has got to be the most unforgetful, never forgiven, petty person on planet Earth. When 50 Cent's got a grudge, you don't want to be on the other side of the grudge because he's not going to let up. And that's what he's doing to Diddy. <laughs> I think he been talking about Diddy since he say he uh wrote for Diddy and he he brought a uh, a weapon in there with him and Diddy never called him back again and he been at Diddy neck ever since and they been having they back and forth shots like he do with Jay Z and every other artist man but this thing with Diddy boy he be he really be on Diddy throat I see he doing a a docu series on uh, Diddy on Netflix and he's executive producing it boy Fifty I would never want to have beef with Fifty man. Like a minute ago, when a lot of people owed the money, he was he was going at everybody. Uh, what his name? What's the old dude that was ghost on the show? He was going at him. He was going at uh. He was going at everybody. The dude uh Esquire on uh ATL. He was going at him. Fifty don't play no games, man, and he do not forget. And he's extra petty, and he followed the uh the Fifty Laws of Power because he made the Fifty Laws of Power. But it's uh, he, he he you kill your enemy. I watched him talk about that before about ja, ja Rule, and he said when you have an enemy, don't never let them breathe. He said because they can come back to life. So he he makes sure he stumps out who he don't like, and he uh he take no prisoners, man, and he don't forget. I don't care what it is or how long it is, he is petty, and he do not forget. And he's a dangerous person because you're dealing with a dude that got a funny sense of humor. A real creative dude, and you're dealing with a dude that got a lot of money, and he can make a lot of things happen. I I just seen you got to look when Fifty came in the game, he was coming in there beefing. You know what I'm saying? He didn't beef with a lot of them. I think the only one survived that beef really. You can say the game did, but I think uh, his 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 career took a blow without Dr. Dre anyway. But I think the only person that really survived the Fifty Cent feud. Was somebody like Rick Ross? Cause Rick Ross can just rap and make good music, and and Ross played it smart. You know, he just kept making music, and 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 the people cannot deny good music, and that Ross make good music. And after a while, people don't really care about all the stuff you do. If you make something that jams and people can people can listen to, they gonna rock with that. But man, Fifty is super petty, and for him to be making that docu series about Puff, man, with all what Puff going through and. I know he's sitting in the jail cell right now going through it. And for uh, 50 to be going at him, I seen him trolling, putting uh, a bottle of baby oil and saying Diddy oil. He just, I would hate to be 50 Cent's enemy, man. But tell me how y'all feel about that. Do you think 50 Cent is the most petty person? And do you think he just handled grudges how you're supposed to handle them? You're supposed to kill them. You're supposed to take them out. You're supposed to stay on their throat so they can't revive and come back to life and come bite you. Because that's what happens a lot of times. You'll give a person life and they'll turn around and stab you in your back, man. So that's how that happens. So 50, just following the laws of power. And and, and if I look at him, how successful he is, it looks like he worked. You know what I'm saying? Or you can just do like Jay-Z and just ignore everybody because Jay-Z don't spend no time talking to anybody, man. But tell me how y'all feel about that, man. 50 is the goat of pettiness and i gotta agree with that man but y'all have a good one man i'm out